Okay, folks, so I'm kind of tired. I don't really feel like blankly staring into a, um, a camcorder while I rant, so I'm just going to, um, you know, read off this, um, this post that I wrote on DeviantArt. As, as you can see um, how long it is, you're, you're probably thinking, wow, thank you for this video. It's so much easier to actually, you know, hear it than then you know it is to uh to to read it and all that crap as people like instant message the fuck out of me okay um anyway yeah um so yeah this one is about thought manifestation um, some of you may be familiar some not but it pretty much goes like this as far as what I've written here on this deviantart.com, twarrior.deviantart.com. You know, gotta be sure to include the shameless plugs. Alright. <coughs> There's tons of DVDs and YouTube video and all sorts of helpful information on the subject, and, you know, that's all well and great, but, <coughs> other than apparently coughing, one thing I like to focus on is making things more clear to the newcomers to a subject because most documentation and documentary media, as wonderful and informative as it all is, seems to make the assumption that the viewer at least knows the basics. It's a bad assumption. I've really yet to see any focused around introduction to sort of stuff, and I think that that sort of stuff is desperately needed. Humans have the need to logically rationalize things, understandably, so when you go into subjects such as using quantum physics to provide some logic to spirituality, it seems absolutely ridiculous to the newcomer, because the people making these productions fail to establish some common frame of reference. The well-intended use of metaphor geared towards making the concepts easier to understand seem more like delusional, false, Hollywood-esque hopes created by someone who has been watching way too much Walt Disney and needs professional help and maybe some strong medication. Gandhi said thought creates reality long before Hollywood ever picked up on the idea and long before mainstream science even had any sort of clue as to how to start figuring it out. We are taught that we must know what and how before we can understand why. This is actually backwards. If you don't know why something works as it does, then the what and how is just going to seem like pure nonsense. It's not your fault if it seems like bullshit. It's the people giving the explanations who are failing to take into consideration that you need a basic logical overview before you can really get into the details. Everyone is born ignorant, but no one is born stupid. Stupidity is learned. The basics to understanding thought manifestation are not as elusive as they might currently seem to you. First, we must simply point out that consciousness is, com is uncompressed energy, and matter is compressed energy, which is why your central nervous system is powered by an electrical charge. The nervous system itself is something physical, and without the electrical charge, all you've got is a lump of dead flesh. To better understand that matter is merely compressed energy, you just simply got to look at the structure of an atom. 99% of an atom is empty space, thus proving that physicality is, in actuality, a holographic illusion, albeit a very real-seeming and persistent one. The other 1% is composed of energy that we call protons, neutrons, and electrons. So, not rocket science here. We learned this in fifth grade. So, if all matter is energy, and all energy in the universe is capable of influencing, interacting with, and controlling all other energy in the universe, then thought creating reality through intent is no more mystical than replying to this journal entry, or um, watching it on, on YouTube, uh, posting a uh, YouTube comment. So, you know, it's, it's no more um, mystical than you know, than, than doing that, um, 
because typing is just energy which is you controlling the energy which is the keyboard controlling the energy which is your computer accessing the energy which makes up the internet so not rocket science and you know it may be a mouthful of words but the concept is pretty basic you gotta admit so now that we understand what it is how, uh, yeah I'm tongue twisting myself now that we understand what it is how it works needs to be explained properly to do this we must do what most people seldom do explain how this does not work I need to explain what it's not so that you can understand what it is it's not Q from Star Trek it's not the Matrix it's not Peter Pan or Walt Disney it's not the Charmed TV series it's not magic spells voodoo or anything entertainment television might have you think of it as it's not always saving the day it's not the hero always getting the girl it's not an action movie where the good guy always has bullets magically reloading into the chamber of the gun seeing as he can use a 45 and fire 10,000 rounds seemingly without any need to ever reload the clip it's not something only a select special group of humanity can do except for you it's not restricted to geniuses, scientists, mystics, spiritualists, Yoda from Star Wars, Luke using the Force, or anyone you delusionally imagine your idols to be because you're under the false impression that others are supposedly smarter and more capable than you are, which is bullshit. When you understand this, you realize that when you use thought manifestation, you are manipulating the situations and events around you by conscious intent. You're not turning lead into gold. You're not pulling a rabbit out of a hat. You're not doing anything magical. You are simply realizing that intent can change malleable physical reality just as much as your words and actions can. It's no different at all than debating a point and convincing someone of something and no different than typing on your keyboard. It's just yet another way to influence your environment. There's no voodoo to it. When you understand that something always attracts more of itself to it, the same as Windows programs natively run under Windows, Linux programs under Linux, and Macintosh software under Mac OS X, and that perhaps you can run a Windows program under Linux, or a Unix program under Mac, that despite this fact there is still no way in hell you're going to be getting a Linux program to run under Mac OS or a Unix or you know a Unix or Mac program to run under Linux and so on and so forth then you understand that it's all about something being compatible with something else or not there is no magic behind it you know you are having success with this when synchronicity is stalking you with coincidences coincidence is a man-made bullshit term to formulate pseudo-rational excuses to explain something when a person's ego cannot accept a truth which defies their paradigm and suggests that god forbid maybe you are actually capable of being wrong about something and that being wrong isn't a bad thing when you realize this you can redefine the word coincidence to what it really is the end resulting feedback of reality creation to verify that you really are doing it and you've not lost your freaking mind when timing becomes more and more perfect for things in your life when you think of wanting a cigarette and later that day a friend gives you a pack without needing to ask them when you want the price of an item in an online store to come down and a day later it ends up on a clearance sale this is synchronicity when you focus on what you dislike and hate, synchronicity manifests itself as what we call bad luck or Murphy's Law. The universe doesn't give a fuck about do, don't, like, dislike, love, hate, convenient or inconvenient. It only knows what you hold in your focus and says request granted. So for focusing on what you dislike and hate, drama and ridicule, annoyances and inconveniences, then don't be so shocked when that's all you ever get. Phew! Just made it to right before the 10 minute mark.